it's always a good day when we can see Dark Magician, Heroes, Crystal Beast, you know, a lot of these fan favorite decks out here performing. Make sure you smash the little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome goodies. The first thing we're going to be looking at here today is Dark Magician with the Splash of Fallen of Outbaz. Now, I mean, the Outbaz package does give this deck a lot of coverage, like a lot more than I think people really want to admit to actually seeing out here. And I think that's actually kind of a good thing when you can see um, your coverage being done right. And I mean, once again, I'm, let's all be honest here. Um, these these two cards right here, um, especially this one, is an incredibly busted card. No matter how much you know time passes or whatnot, this card does continue to be pretty absurd. And I mean, also your duality interactions out here as well. So we have two copies of Blazing Cartesia. Of course, we're playing one copy of Dark Magician Girl. Um, triple copies of your Droll and Lockbird. Two of your Fallen of Albaz, because best dragon. We have two copies of the Magician's Rod, your Triple Souls, Triple Space Rock, the Tamias, the United Dragon, and only one Dark Magician. We also have triple copies of the Illusion of Chaos, your triple copies of Brand of Fusion, triple duality, and your triple copies of Fusion Deployment, triple copies of Seeker Village. Yeah, the fact that you can actually Seeker Village lock your opponent in this deck after setting up a pretty massive branded board is actually pretty disgusting. So one Secrets of Dark Magic, your two Soul Servant, triple Super Poly, and of course Schism. Then of course we have the Lulu Walleth, the Dark Magicians, two copies of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon with your one Mud Mud, one Mere Jade with one Lubellion, we have the Grand Gogginal, of course is Garua, two copies of Winda, one App Cologne with your one copy of Albion, and two copies of Albion. Then of course, I mean, who doesn't love Kurikara? Triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, your one Feather Duster, one Herald of the Abyss, one Talents, your triple thrust and triple copies of Solemn Judgment making the game a whole lot more interesting out here. So I like this list quite a lot. Next up here is Dark World. <sighs> the Cerulean Hand Loops. Man, <laughs> I gotta give it to Johnny. Every time I see Johnny performing out here with something crazy, you gotta take a step back and you gotta admire like the craziness. Now, Johnny breaks the rule of actually playing triple copies of Dark Corridor. Um, the thing that makes me hate this card is the fact that Konami did slap the once per turn clause on him, but they really can't allow this card to functionally walk around with an unrestricted clause on it because the card is nuts at the end of the day. It's literally an add and then a discard. So you have to put that restriction on it or things are gonna get out of hand very, very fast. So yes, we do play one copy of Zephyrus the Elite for bounce ability. Two copies of LOL Enjoy Your No Hand. We have one Bigfoot, the one Chupacabra. Two copies of Mothman. Got the two Nessie, of course the one Jackalope. And we are playing the one copy of Diabolica, the Dragneek General. Triple copies of Genta. Two copies of Graf. We got triple copies of Rainbucks, the good one. We also have two copies of Silva. Triple copies of Snow. And then Zalamander Catalyzer. Still actually see him play out here. We have the triple copies of Lore Darkness, your one card destruction. Triple copies of Dark Corridor, with of course Dark World Ascension or Ascension. We have the one archives with your triple gates, the one talents, the one thrust, and of course remain deck in the eradicator. And then next up get the security dragon, the Saruja, the news reporter, Unicorn Phoenix, the Griffin, the Cerberus, of course the Cross Sheep, the Akashik, the Dugaris, Baguski. And then, of course, Exiton, Coach King, Giant Trainer, the Triple Cabbies of, or excuse me, two Grapha. Then we have one gold, actually, so free board cleanup. Two Cabbies of Radeon. One copy of Rainbucks Overlord of the Dark World. Triple Cabbies of Dark World, no more. The Feather Duster. Another Eradicator, Triple Evenly, and Triple Cabbies of Skill Drain here. Wrapping up Dark World. Next up here. We have Crystal Beast. Now this is, I, I think people forgot that Golden Rule got printed as a card. Um, I was play testing the Advanced Crystal Beast build for a little while, and I was having a lot of fun with it. But the, the reliance on, you know, Advanced Dark as a field spell, and then literally, you know, having 
what but let's be honest like 10 possible dead draws in your deck doesn't necessarily mean that you really want to capitalize on all that so i think it is really cool see that we are seeing more value out here for the particulars of this deck it's very very interesting so you have your triple copies of ash blossom and joy spring you have of course the one amber mammoth the one amethyst cat the one cobalt eagle the one copy of the emerald tortoise two copies of the crystal beast rainbow dragons still the god save for this deck got the two ruby carbuncle your triple sapphire pegasus your own topaz tiger with your two crystal masters so we're actually taking advantage of the pendulum scales we also have two rainbow dragon triple copies awakening of the crystal ultimates your one call by the grave your one crystal beacon triple copies of crystal bond triple golden roll two pot of prosperity your triple rainbow bridge triple copies of rainbow bridge of the heart the one conclave the one crystal miracle and of course the triple copies of infinite permanence then of course we have Zelantis, one underworld goddess one Saruji, one unicorn with the one ip we also have the one five-headed link dragon i see we're getting a little bit creative out here we also have cross sheep your cherubini of course the apo the dugaris the baguski the lightning cheatery zeus and then of course rainbow overdrive and regular rainbow over dragon and then of course triple draw your cosmic your triple dark ruler your two foolish real goods of course the feather duster one necro valley triple evenly and of course we are playing the rainbow bridge of salvation in the side deck because you don't really want to <laughs> this isn't a card that you want to draw all the time all right next up here we have a hero now i, I do want to say something about the duels that does send me these hero lists they've had a very consistent track record um every other week um they usually come top four out of their events and i, I actually think it's really really nice to see a continued track record out here of things kind of coming together um and i will say the infernal divisor elemental hero neos package has been a lot more it's taken off a lot more recently i think with the value that neos kind of brings into the deck and the fact you know making stronger boss monsters out here has been one of the things the hero needed at the end of the day it's nice to be able to say you know while the deck still feels like dark law turbo you can do a little bit more now so we have triple copies of ash blossom and joy spring of course dark angel with the one denier two copies of malicious the one plasma your one blaze man with your two or excuse me one copy vanas neos the one liquid soldier two shadow mist with the triple strap man of course we have two forest with two increase and two violent and then one copy of the brick then of course triple hero lives one called by the grave one foolish barrel triple copies of fusion destiny with your two mass change one miracle fusion one poly one rota with the one favorite contact and of course triple infinite permanence then you got the one wonder driver the one infernal divisor the one dread decimator your two cross crusader and then of course one baguski one copy of wake up your elemental hero two dark law the one blast one sunrise then of course the one shining neos wingman the one infernal rage the one absolute zero and the one dp and then of course triple drawn lockbird your triple nabir triple dark ruler your one feather duster your two evenly matched and your triple copies of rivalry of the warlords here wrapping up well another take for heroes at the end of the day this deck does continue to get well a lot stronger that's what you want to see and then of course i mean it's just not a video unless we we look at something really outlandish and it's uh we're playing destructive daruma cannons and spiritual water always i've seen the always popping up into this deck a little bit more than in the past i mean the card is incredibly good at the end of the day but you know losing your shizaku to rip your opponent's hand maybe maybe it is worth it maybe maybe there is some sort of you know want to try this so we have triple copies of ash blossom and joy spring got your triple copies array we also have the one rose one called by the grave one feather duster two lightning storm with your two copies of desires we got the one roto with your two area zero got two afterburners with one hornet drones we got the one shark cannon with your triple copies of widow inky two multi-roll with two engage we also have triple linkage one terraforming with two talents triple thrust one upstar goblin and triple copies of infinite permanence and then we have the one zeke triple copies of shizuku the one kaina uh, we have triple kagari two copies of hayate one azalea one phoenix with one to hark one axis code and the one zeus then of course we have triple draw and lockbird triple cosmic cyclone two copies of destructive daruma cannon two copies of dimensional barrier triple copies of the spiritual water owie and two copies of trap trick here wrapping up well 
Some of the more interesting metagame involvements out here that people are actually doing pretty well with. And I'm actually happy to see that at the end of the day. So what do you think about the exciting new uh, new car smell for today? Please, leave a comment down below to what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.